Good morning all, it's the Devious Monkey here. So I'm making breakfast. I didn't want to take you along and make you watch me chop up vegetables and all that stuff again, but here's what we're having. So I'm gonna make basically an omelet. I've got some onions, peppers, and I sliced up some beefy type stuff. Of course, the eggs and the cheese and some coffee, which I gotta have. Today, it is not rainy and shitty out. It is actually, well, it was sunny. It's kind of cloudy now. It's gonna go back and forth and hit like in the low 50s, which is much better than 30s with rain and wind. So I'm gonna try to get the stuff out of the garage today as best I can. I'm probably not gonna take the cardboard to the dump. I'm probably gonna sit there and cut it, but that's only because I went and bought new blades. So it should be easy, right? Okay, gonna finish making breakfast and then we'll get started on all that other crap. Okay, kids, I've been sitting inside my office all day. It's 1.15, I had enough. It's sunny and it's 52 degrees and that's as good as it's gonna get today. So I am going to go to Pleasure House Point and walk around as much of it as I can, seeing if it's still flooded out. I went to Home Depot yesterday and I physically observed all the shelving rack systems that I had researched the night before on the internet. The problem is, is that when you're looking at a a little itty bitty picture on a website, you can't grasp the scope of the actual item that you're looking at unless you see it firsthand. Going there yesterday and looking at the different racks has completely changed my mind on what I'm going to do because some of them are gigantic and they ain't going to work. I, I would literally have to, to uninstall everything in that garage, and I'm not doing that. So I know that I didn't need to get the most expensive thing. So that today I just need to measure and see for sure that it's going to work. And then I'll have to go buy these damn shelves and get them, get them home because they're heavy. Now, the biggest challenge is that I'm going to have to empty this forerunner and move, probably move this, this seat all the way forward and, and angle it down and just basically open up the entire back area. That's the pain in the ass when you're like me and you carry all that shit in the back. But you know, how often do I get stuff this big? But I'm gonna have to get that wedged into and I probably still won't be able to close the hatch. So I'll have to, I'll have to find a way to get that all battened down so that I can get it home okay. And then I literally might have to cut the box open and pull it out one piece at a time because that shit's heavy. That's cart before the horse. I still need to get all that crap out of the garage. And again, I'm gonna go check and see what they'll take at the Goodwill. I don't see them not taking what I have, but they might not. I'm thrilled that it's so nice out today. I needed some sunshine in my life. And I'm looking forward to walking around here and filming. So, all right, I'm about to get up here. Let's, let's, let's get into Pleasure House Point. So, as usual, because I didn't bring the A7R4 with the 200 to 600, just everywhere I look, these birds, two big graceful birds just flying in circles above me, very, almost like floating. So I definitely could have gotten shot to them. A big white egret gracefully flying, straight lined right across from me tons of little itty bitty birds that are actually visible this time because normally I can't see them and they're just everywhere but I don't have that camera ah sigh but that's okay it is actually unbelievably pleasant out there's pretty much no wind back here it's 52 degrees the sun is shining all the flooding apparently has receded because there's nothing it, it's like any other day that I come out here. So it's very nice. And I'm having a great time just out walking around in my favorite place. We'll see what it looks like when I round the corner because usually crossing over that one section, it, it gets flooded out and they have the cinder blocks laid out, but they might not be above water. Let's go check it out. Okay, they're still visible. Some of it's underwater, but that's the beauty of these waterproof shoes.
perfect. Well, I'd say that the flooding has receded here. So there's definitely no water anywhere where it doesn't belong. And even crossing the little path back there on the cinder blocks, I mean, most of those were above water. Sometimes I've gone through there where they're at least a foot underwater. And definitely the pictures that I saw the other day showing all this area around here was all flooded out. It's not. So, oh well, like I said, it's still a gorgeous day out and I'm enjoying walking around. And I think I'm gonna cut back through the woods once I round the corner, just cuz. Every time I walk past this, I swear, I hear Louise Belcher screaming, shell pile, shell pile. And yes, I realize it's not the same kind of shell, but I still think of it anyways. Tee hee. Okay, cut back through the woods. The interesting thing right now is because it rained so much, all of this like floor ground covering is wet. So it doesn't make as much noise as it usually does when I'm walking through here because this is nothing but leaves, pine needles, broken off dead branches, and they're just not crunching. I, could, I can almost walk through here stealth mode and you could never hear me, which is kind of neat. Well, you, I'm sure you just heard that. <laughs> a bit of a structure here oh and Christmas spirit ho 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 very cool yet another place for me to consider doing a photo shoot if I find somebody to do a photo shoot with okay that was fun it's gorgeous out. In fact, it's a little bit too warm for this uh, hoodie that I've got on. But okay, I'm certainly not going to complain that it was warmer than I expected it to be. I am naturally headed to three ships to get some bean for the afternoon. And then I'm going to go home, measure the garage and see about those shelves. And then I'm going to try to take some of that shit to the Goodwill and get rid of it once and for all. And then I got day job stuff that I need to do. I am shocked to realize that I have not turned in a timesheet for a long time. I am still convinced that I did, but it just never registered. So I have three months worth of timesheets to do. That's going to take me a while. So I'm just going to sit there eventually today into tonight and do those and get those done and do some other stuff and then tomorrow button up the week and, and get ready. Well, I'm not going to get ready for next week. I'll do that Sunday on my normal office day. So today didn't quite work out the way that I had planned it. I did not have time to get anything out of the garage. I just finished eating a very late lunch. Yeah, I mean, it's 4.30. So I did that, still did some work stuff, and I've been running around the house doing other things. Meanwhile, I was out driving around getting other stuff done. So bottom line, I didn't have time to get anything done. So I'm just not even gonna bother to try to do anything in the garage today. I am going to at least go down and measure stuff as soon as I'm done filming this. And then I gotta finish the day job stuff because I keep putting it off because I don't wanna do it. And it's just gonna make everything pile up on me over the weekend and I don't wanna do that. So another relatively uneventful day, I guess, if you wanna put it that way except that it was gorgeous out and I did have a good time walking around Pleasure House Point. So let's hear it for that. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.